Right, so we're going to do a test with you which looks at how much air you can get out of your lungs in one single breath and how well the air flows out of your lungs as well. Uh, hi, I'm Imo. Hi, I'm Steve Mitzel. I'm a 1500 metre runner and I also do cross country and I run for Bristol Uni and Bristol and West. Yeah, I compete for both Bristol Uni and Bristol and West and my main distance is 1500 metres. I'm going to ask you to pop these onto your nose, hold on to this, lips nice and tight round there, normal breathing to start off with, then take a big, big, big breath in, and as soon as your lungs are full, I'm going to say blow, I need you to blast the air out as hard and fast as you can, and then take a big breath in at the end. Right, when you're ready then, really big breath in, and blast! Go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and then a really big breath in, really fast! Excellent, off you come there, well done, legs off. Off your nose. <laughs> All right, well done. Let's have a look at that for you. Everybody has predicted values based on your age, your height, your gender and your ethnicity. The difference between males and females is due to the size of your chest cavity. Men tend to have larger thoracic cavities and as your lungs fill your chest cavity, that's why their results tend to be larger than for females. We can see from Steve's results that his best forced vital capacity was 5 0.37 litres. His predicted value was 5.15 litres, so he has a percent predicted of 104%. Imogen managed to get out 4.45 litres. Her predicted value was 3.77 litres, so she has a percent predicted of 118%. Well done.